Hi, I'm Jonathan. I want to tell you about connecting Obsidian Advanced Slides to OBS. This means creating slides with video for free. And if that interests you, stick around. Obsidian is a note making app that I use for genealogy research, but could be used for many other topics. It helps me organize my notes with links, tags, and folders, and I can analyze the data by grouping and aggregating the notes into charts, graphs, maps, and other illustrations, which I can share online in meetings and in conferences. I use OBS to record and stream the video. The Obsidian Advanced Slides plugin can be configured to control OBS. So as you progress through the slides, the OBS scenes change automatically. And I've written a plugin to do just that. So let me show you some examples of how Obsidian Slides and OBS can work together. Here are some of the commands that can be sent with your slides. When a transition starts, a scene can change. Or when a transition comes to an end, scene can change. Scenes that have fragments can command OBS to change scenes when a fragment appears or disappears. Here, the first fragment fades in and the slide doesn't send a scene change. But here, the second fragment disappears, triggering a scene change. Then when the third fragment changes, the scene changes as well. And here are some other examples of fragment styles. Advanced slides can have content that's transparent and that can give some creative options. You can also create graphs and use emojis. There's an overview mode, and when overview mode is turned on, the scene change is triggered, and you can navigate through all of your slides, and when you find a slide to return to, press escape, and a scene change is triggered at that point as well. So this is just a few examples of how Slides can be programmed to trigger scene changes in OBS. And so let me show you how you can set this up on your system. The first thing you'll want to do is go to obsidian.md where you can download Obsidian for your system. Next, go to obsproject.com and download OBS Studio for Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. And finally, go to my GitHub page where you can find this Obsidian Demo Vault with the Advanced Slides plugin and the code to control OBS scene changes. Download it by clicking code, then download zip. Download the zip and extract it. And then in Obsidian, use the open folder as vault option click open and navigate to the location where you save the zip file after extracting it. In the demo vault, you'll find the slides in the slideshow folder named demo slideshow and other notes, example notes. In the lower left, you'll find some of my notes on commands to send to OBS to change scenes. This is what a Markdown note looks like. Obsidian uses Markdown for the note format. At the top of the note, you'll set some configurations for your slideshow, like the title, the height and width. And you can choose a transition so that each slide has a consistent transition in the deck. You can also set the background to transparent for those interesting effects. Or you could use a solid color as your slide deck background. In this first slide, I've chosen to use the data on OBS scene chain op option to chew. This means when I change a scene manually in OBS, it will find a slide with the same name and then switch to that slide. There's also the data overview shown. This allows you to choose which scene should be shown when you move to the overview mode. For this slide in particular, the data slide name means I'm naming this slide scene one. So when I manually click scene one in OBS, this slide will be displayed. 
and the data slide changed equals C1 means when this slide is navigated to that scene one in OBS will be switched on. And this is the content for the slide with some formatting for the text. Scenes are separated by three dots or three dashes rather. And so that's how this, you know, which uh, slides you're on. The second slide is going to display scene two when the slide is changed to. And it also uses this tag to change the background to be black, but 99% transparent. The advanced slides plugin has great documentation along with the reveal JS, which is the basis for the advanced slides plugin. Those both have great documentation so you can learn more options for your slides. But when you have your notes ready to be turned into slides, you can come over here to the slideshow preview and that creates a second pane where you'll see your notes turned into slides. Now we're ready to put our slides into OBS. First, over the slide preview pane, click on open in browser and copy the URL of localhost 3000. Now, over in OBS, OBS is based on scenes and the scenes are made up of different sources. So let's add a source. The first source that we're going to add is the browser source. We can keep the default name of browser. Let's change the URL to what we copied the localhost 3000. Let's change the width to match what we configured our slides to be. And then the last setting is the page permission. Change that to advanced access to OBS. This will allow the JavaScript in the slides to control OBS. And click OK. And we also want to add video to this scene. So click video capture device, click OK. I'll set this to my webcam, click OK. Now I want the video to take up the whole screen, but I want the browser to be on top. So I'll move that up and reduce it. If I click interact with the browser, we'll get a window that allows us to control the browser. And as we advance through the slides, you can see the slides appear, but the scenes aren't changing because we haven't created the additional scenes yet. So let's close the browser for now, duplicate our first scene and rename it scene two. The scenes could be named anything, but for this example, I'm using scene one, scene two, and scene three. So I'll duplicate this again and name this scene three. Now in scene two, I want the slides to take up the full screen. And in scene three, I want the video to be on top of the slides and in the upper right corner. So when we go back to the browser, and press interact as we progress through the slides, we can see the scenes changing in sync with the slides. And that is what I wanted to show you. I hope this gives you some ideas that you'll be inspired to try for yourself. You'd be interested to know how you use this. If you made it to the end, thanks for watching. I hope you find this content useful. Be interested to hear how you use it. Please leave some feedback in the comments. Take care.